Okay, um, I'm Jerome Finlayson from the Scottish Manufacturing Advisory Service and what I'm going to be talking about is giving an overview of lean manufacturing for, as an introduction to lean and to do that I'm going to cover five simple principles or steps within a lean journey. Okay, The first one really and the most important step, the starting point of any lean journey is to start with the customer. Okay, I put a happy face here but sometimes that's maybe not a happy face as we know we have dissatisfied customers as well. But it's really important to understand from the customer perspective in terms of cost, quality and service and the relationship as well which might come into that service. What does the customer expect from you as an organisation? What do they demand? What delights them? But really understand it from the shoes and the eyes of the customer, not your perception. So it's very important to get into the customer's mind, mindset on this and understand what they need from you as a supplier. So start off with the customer. That sets the direction for Lean and the focus, the key strategic focuses. We then move on to the process. And what we need to look at it within the business is break it down into a series of processes that should be joined together to support an overall goal and a aim to meet these customer objectives. Each process within a business will either add value or not add value. And it's important to understand which processes do add value and which ones don't and to the extent that they do not add value or add value. So for example, in this simple example, if we look at the inventory, the product, all of this can be considered as waste and not adding value. Ideally, we may identify processes that we say do not add value. So very quickly, we can see from this that the value is being added in these areas. And we would then quantify that with real objective data to support the value and the non-value adding processes. Next step in Lean, is to make, those value, make that value flow within the organisation. So if we move up here, we've got a simple, I've presented it very simply for the purposes of this, but looking at making that value throw, flow with product moving very simply through the supply chain, minimising stops, breakdowns, etc. to ensure that product is continually flowing through the organisation. The next sort of principle here is looking at the, the rate of that product flowing through the organisation and that rate should be determined back to the customer again and pulled from the customer. So not keeping a stock of inventory here or here or anywhere in the process. If the customer wants 10 a week, you design the process and gear it up and measure it to deliver 10 a week. Okay. So at the pull of the customer, customers pulling the work flow through the process. And the last but most important stage of any lean journey is to look at the, the process again and again and again and continuously improve and don't, don't be satisfied with what you've got just now and rest on your laurels potentially. But if you have this process, can that be improved to this process? Reduce the lead time, reduce the cost, improve the quality maybe of investing in new machinery, but still maintain the flow, maximise the value and at the pull of the customer. Okay, so really in a nutshell, that's five key principles which define lean and lean manufacturing. Obviously there's a lot more, a lot more to it in terms of getting that working in the workplace and sustaining lean, but in summary, it starts with the, what the customer values, it's look at identifying the value in the processes in the organisation, it's making that value flow, it's making that flow at the pull of the customer to the demand of the customer, and then it's continuously improving the processes by reviewing what you're doing. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Richard Henderson from the Scottish Manufacturing Advisory Service. I'm just going to take a few moments just to explain a little bit about wean manufacturing. So, what is lean manufacturing? Why do a lot of companies use it? Well, lean manufacturing um, is all about trying to address a lot of your customers' needs. Customers may require greater variety in the products and services which you're offering. They may require greater flexibility. They may require better service delivery, higher quality. And lean manufacturing is really there to try and help you become much more competitive in your marketplace and help the customer um, receive the products and services at the right cost, quality and delivery performance that they require. 
Now if you imagine the lead time of a product, and that lead time is over X number of days, approximately 20% of that lead time will be value added activity. Value added activity is activity which the customer is prepared to pay for. That's activities which may change the shape, the size, the form or the fit of a product or service. Okay. 80% of that overall lead time can be classified as non-value add activity or waste. And this waste falls into two categories, pure waste and required waste. Required waste being wasteful activity which the customer is not prepared to pay for but that you cannot avoid. A good example of that would be a machine changeover or setup. Okay. Traditional improvement activities will focus on the value added activity and trying to make improvements to the value added activity by throwing more labour at the process, maybe buying a new machine, getting the labour force to work harder or longer hours. Okay? And yes, you might get a small improvement, but it's not sustainable. What WEAN is all about is it's about focusing the improvement on the removal of waste to allow operators to be able to work uh, much more effectively and efficiently and not actually focusing on the value added activity necessarily. Okay. So to implement lean you need to follow five guiding principles. The first one is all about identifying value. So what is it that the customer actually values in the product or service you're providing? The second one is all about identifying the value stream. So what are the operations which are coming together to add the value that that customer is prepared to pay for? The third one is all about flow. So once you've identified the actual activities which are adding the value, how do you make those flow in an efficient manner through the business? The next one's about pool. Pool is all about pooling at the rate at which the customer demands the product. Okay? Only making what is required just in time for when the customer needs it. And then the final one is about perfection. So you'll never achieve perfection but it's constantly trying to achieve perfection. It's this loop of continuous improvement. So you make an improvement, then you go back, you revisit it, and you make further improvements. And it's that ongoing process. So to deliver those five principles, it's important that you need to focus on the next aspect of Lean, which is the systematic removal of waste. about the lean wastes. I want to get you to think about what those lean wastes are in your organisation. Now I remember them using the acronym Tim Woods, the first letter there uh, standing for the first letter of each of the wastes. So I'll go through them one by one. So T, that stands for transportation, that's moving of objects or, or, or uh, products between different processes. Now this is most apparent on sites where you've got uh, uh, different sheds and products are being moved and transported from one shed to the next. That's where it's most apparent. But even on smaller operations contained within one building, you'll still see transportation where people are moving things between one process and the next. Think about it, is that happening in your operations? Secondly, I for inventory. Inventory is where product is building up within the process that's not been moved through that process. What's the risk of that to you and your business? It's tying up cash. So again, think about your operation and have you got piles of inventory dotted around through the process? And if so, is there scope for reducing that inventory? M. M stands for movement. Now that might be movement of people or movement of machinery. But movement in itself, think of double handling where people are simply moving things from one place to another and then having to move it back again. Movement is taking up people's time and it is not changing that product or converting it any closer to what the customer is looking for. Have you got people moving around objects within your operation and products through the operation? W. W stands for waiting. Now waiting can be people waiting for work or indeed work waiting for people to come and do something to it. You'll see that if you've got inventory building up. That inventory will be waiting for somebody to come and do something to it. I bet you're pretty hot on spotting where people are waiting for work. People standing around sitting and chatting. B. 
Think about your operation. Go down and have a look at the shop floor and see if you can see waiting occurring. The first O, overproduction. Making more than you need to, making more than the customer has asked for. Perhaps getting ahead, putting a little bit into stock. Overprocessing uh, is, sorry, overproduction is the worst lean waste because it encompasses all the other waste that I've talked about and we'll go on to talk about. You want to be making what the customer is asking for, no more, no less. Overprocessing is doing more than the customer has asked for. So if you get a specification for a product, and that may be that, uh, take, take the example of a product that requires, in your customer's eyes, three coats of paint. But typically you guys put four coats of paint just to do a good job. That's doing more than the customer is asking for, that's overprocessing. An obvious one next for you is D, D for defects, getting things wrong. If you get something wrong, it's going to cost time to correct, or indeed you may have to scrap it altogether. So producing something is wrong is an obvious defect, but how does it occur in your operation? Excessively? Tolerably? If there's any defects at all, it's not acceptable. Lastly, S. S is for skills, and that's not utilising the, the skills of the people within your operation, either for them to generate, generate ideas or coming up with improvement suggestions. So these are the, the, the lean wastes. Now, lean manufacturing is the relentless targeting of these wastes to reduce or eliminate them. That's, in essence, what lean manufacturing is about. So if you've got lean wastes occurring in your operation, you want to be reducing them, because otherwise all they're doing is adding in cost. Thank you. Mm -hmm.